Hi all, welcome back to Step Campus. I hope you are clear with previous video on types of communication. Today we'll start with types of orientation and types of thinking. If any concerns for previous lectures, please let us know in the comments below. Types of orientation. First we'll look to monochronic and polychronic. Monochronic will be orientation where the time is precise, fixed and scarce. People prefer to work with linear and sequential fashion. For them, time is money. So, if their time is for 8 hours, they will complete the work in 8 hours and they will keep their personal and professional life different. Punctuality and timeless are valued. Being late is disrespect disrespectful for them. Others adhere to schedules and appointments regardless of the people involved. Even if someone is late, but they'll if they have fixed a time for a meeting, they'll always follow that and most of them are on time or are punctual. Tasks and deadlines often take up precedence over relationship. They'll not they'll not see if anyone is close to them or if anyone is uh, a friend to them. They'll always prefer the task or deadline or their work over their relationship. People prefer to do one thing at a time. They'll focus on their task and not the multiple or they'll, you know, work on a different things at a time. In polychronic, time is estimated, fluid and abundant. Time and tasks may follow in multiple directions. Like time is somewhere in three days where a task may take up to five days. They are not together. They're not in sync. Countries with strong polychronic will be Italy, Saudi Arabia and Ghana. How does this play out? Punctuality goes to goal is to be attained. It is like a goal. It is not that they will be punctual but they will be considering it as goal. Being late may be excused. People adhere to their schedules and appointments depending who all is involved. If someone superior to them is involved and they are not available, they will they'll appoint or they will uh, schedule the task according to them. Attention to relationship may be diver, may divert focus from task. People move easily among many tasks. They will work on multiple tasks and which might affect their work also. Task oriented and relationship oriented. Task oriented is these types of culture focus on doing rather than focus on being. People approach job at the hand and focus on goals, roles, structure and outcomes. Whatever task they are given, they will focus or approach on that they'll see to it that the goals are attained their roles and structures and outcomes are as per the requirement building relationships occurs through execution of work they'll not have someone from their team who they already know but they'll come to know or they get along with people around them when they work countries which follow this are U USA, UK, Netherlands. How does this play out is tasks and proced procedures, plans and agendas are explicitly written and followed. Whatever they have mentioned or their routine is, they will follow that. Trust will build over the work like once the work is started, once they join the team, they will start trusting on them as per the flow. Roles and responsibilities may change over time. Work and personal lives are separate. They will maintain a different personal life and different professional life. They will not include both together. Relationship is like focusing on the being and not focusing on the doing like task oriented. People are concerned with developing relationship and the communication. Here people will focus on their relationships, how to build a relationship, how to get close to someone. Tasks get accomplished through the relationships whereas there in the task oriented building relationships occur through execution of the work countries with relationship oriented are china mexico nigeria how does this play out is social is the means to get no people before the work begin they'll uh, go through their relationships or they'll go through their colleagues or friends or someone who already is present in their team and then they'll ask for a position there Trust and uh, trust is essential for initial collaboration. Roles and responsibilities are often clear, defined, and fired. Work and work and personal lives will overlap. They'll not follow a particular uh, schedule, but they'll mix both. They'll not have a line between them. Now coming to types of thinking. It follows a logical. There are two types of thinking: linear thinking 
and systematic or holistic thinking linear thinking it follows a logical sequence consisting of discrete detail like they'll have a logical sequence beginning middle and end there will be a proper flow which will be followed countries which uh, follow this are usa australia and switzerland how does this play out is plans and procedures schedules and agendas are uh, discussed pre- before the meetings they have a systematic flow and which will be followed and it would be written in a linear format and there is a strong preference for conducting discussions and executing task step by step fashion there is a little tolerance for deviating from predetermining and agreed upon process they'll not tolerate that they'll not go away from that flow whereas in systematic or holistic thinking the picture is created by collecting the elements or interconnecting with it, each other people are concerned with developing the relationship and the communications tasks get accomplished through the relationship like if you know someone your task will be completed faster than someone who does not know that person countries which follow holistic thinking are brazil egypt and italy how does this play out is there are initial plans and procedures which are schedules and are created but they are not followed they are often change mid course okay so the circumstances change the environment change and then the plans have been changed resistant to follow step by step procedures allows for flexibility and creativity because they do not follow it step by step uh, the procedures which were decided upon or which were agreed upon there is this a flexibility which will have a creativity in last moment there is a general acceptance that deviations occur normally in the course of discussion and business uh, while uh, working upon something if there is some deviations coming in between and this or you have changed the uh, flow of the process this is generally accepted